What is up guys, NYK31 here. Madden 16, another installment of Run and Shoot 101. Run and Shoot tutorial, Run and Shoot walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go over some more choice concepts today. <clears throat> I'm going to go over a couple of plays. First one is going to be... Where is it? Here we go. 60x option. This is a choice concept out of 2x2. Two two. Um, you have twin vertical clearouts on your right. You have a skinny post by the 8 receiver and a hitch streak and post concept by the X. Again, zone, this will do a good job of creating basically a trail between the X and the H. The H will run his uh, deep drag, skinny post, whatever you want to call it, drag post, and when the receiver makes his read, the X receiver makes his read, he will break right behind him uh, more often than not versus your standard um, cover fours and cover threes. Versus cover two, the um, vertical clear outs create a nice conflict between the uh, deep safety and the seam defenders and also the middle linebacker. A user will have to choose whether he wants to um, fly with the Y running the slot streak or commit to the deep drag, drag post, and X will either run streak or break behind that uh, drag post. So we're going to go X option. We're going to go that's random play. Got Martavius Bryant running the um, option route. Hayward Bay and um, Antonio Brown on your right, with Wheaton running the uh, drag post. You see he's going to clear right behind him. You throw right into that gap. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against zero coverage. No, no deep safety in the middle of the field. He goes streak. Let us throw a high pass bullet streak and let them go up and get it. Steelers are a nice one in the shoot team, by the way. Really nice one in the shoot team. This is quarters three deep. They got a zone blitz. I just hit the seam there. Just replaced the blitzer with a streaking receiver. You see how that um, drag post by the H receiver here in this situation kind of froze the linebacker and he creeps up to cover that and you see the vacancy there. That looked like some form of cover two. What do we have there? Yeah, this is cover two. So he breaks out of the sideline here. I got a nice little vacancy here if I want to try to hit that. But I saw this first. He goes right down. Could be a blitz here. I'm not quite sure what that was. Didn't like what mom... What's his name did here? What, co what coverage was this? Two deep shell. How many guys are coming? Four man rush. This looks like cover two. And he decided to go to the angle. The angle streak here. Tough throw. I like to see him go here. Well, like I said, nothing in life is automatic, but versus cover two. Let's 
they actually do a good job of carrying here, but you can hit one of these two guys potentially in cover two. Or this drag post underneath the linebacker. If someone creeps up to take that, that'll open up this behind it. Blitz perhaps. Throw it up high, give him a shot at it. Press man. Ah. Here we go. Blue thirty. This looks like press man one. Nope, press man two. So two man under Martavius Bryant breaks in, and I had him. Just a bad throw. So this is very nice for flooding the middle. So you got to account for seam. You got to account for this. You see the defender here. Busting the defender bites down really hard on that, and there's my throwing lane. Let's have let's let Antonio Brown have a little bit of fun. Just gonna flip the play. Wow, he cuts so sharp, my goodness. Set, blue 30. Easy, easy. Here we go. Black 80. Blue 30. Set. Black 30. So against cover two, that um, Antonio Brown decided to go angle streak. It's like the uh, trips choice route where he will angle the streak to the sideline to create a hole here between him and the um, safety. Tough throw, but it's makeable. See that? Ah, oh, he almost came down at that time. Same type of coverage. Touch pass. When will he run the hitch? First cover four most of the time. But if you see him run the hitch, you gotta make sure no one is buzzing out there or the buzzing defender is occupied first. Like that. Buzz defender here in this cover four. He's reading the slot receiver first. Then when he clears, you have a window here to squeeze his sucker in here. Antonio Brown, same deal. Just if you have this play called and you think you have the coverage red right, just pick who you want to have run that option route. HY option, stick concept being run by the H, uh, dig post option being run by Y. Going up against random play. Just a quick hitting stick. If you don't like that, you can look for the um, dig post. They're on the zone blitz. He does me a favor. He does a great job of recognizing that no one's there. I didn't. I didn't anticipate that. I think he. I thought he would have stopped or gone inside. But zone blitz. No one's there. Boom. So this is basically a stick route on steroids. <laughs> zone blitz. No one's out in the flat. He breaks off to the flat. Here we go. If you don't like what he does, you can look to. The dig post.
or if you or if you don't think you can fit the ball in there based on what he does. I'm practicing on all pro, by the way. I just happen to be on all pro. And breaks behind. Let's flip the play and see what Darius likes to do. Retreating corner. He just sinks out there. Man coverage, he runs away from the um, defender, a linebacker in that case. Set! No it's probably some form of three deep. Set! Zone blitz. Set! Man coverage. Press man, he turns inside. So what you want to look for against a press man is him turning inside, looking to break inside. Like so, against a zone blitz or a man blitz, he's more than likely going to go either outside or squat. And against zone, you're looking to see him either sit or go inside sometimes, depending on how he's released. Vertical read. In the real world, most four vertical concepts at the NFL level, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of vertical um, concepts, four vertical concepts in the NFL are just like this. The receivers will burst up field. The outside receivers will take a force outside release. If they can't out leverage to the sideline, eat up cushion, or get deep, they'll begin to break off their routes. The Colts in Peyton Manning's heyday did this all the time. With Wayne Harris and Dallas Clark, they did this over and over and over again. They would burst down the field if they couldn't gain leverage or um, get behind the defense. They would convert their routes either to the sideline, back to the quarterback, or inside. But... And again, this is one of those things that I think would not really translate to a video game to its full power. I think if it did, it'd break the game. But in this case, with this vertical read, this run-and-shoot vertical read, you have one receiver. In this case, the slot, the uh, Y, running the vertical option route. Either continuing down the seam, breaking off his route, or going down the uh, middle of the field on a post. With a check down to the back. Alrighty, so we're going to go vertical read against random plays. Alright, so we have vertical read versus random plays. It looked like off coverage man from here. And you see how he drives him off and stops his route, but he goes Darius Hayward Bay and can't come up with the ball. Good break on the ball though by the corner. Right down the seam he goes. You know, sometimes you're just going to treat it like a normal four verts play. There he sneaks his post route right behind the backer. Looks like 
cover too. So really you have your choice. And off he goes. That time he chose to sit versus the zone. He found a little soft spot there between the defenders. Got a nice little hole here. And boom. He just dropped the ball. I didn't like what he did there. I just checked it down. That's basically streak options. Treat it like four verts most of the time. But pay attention to what route he's converting to. Slide. Slide is the most difficult to run. There's a lot going on. But it's also the hardest one to defend. There's a lot of stuff going on here to read. And it can get mental in a hurry. And um, bog you down. And make you take a lot of sacks. But you have to your left X running a curl streak corner option route. H running a um, curl or a hitch streak post option route Y is running a bubble and Z is running a um, faded streak that we saw on the uh, choice concept it's going to be angled with a sideline or a hitch looks like so And what I liked what I like to do here if I see one on one to the solo receiver side and if it's man coverage I'm looking to see him convert that to the corner route otherwise I'm looking to see on the trip side what the um, who the buzz or flat defender is going to be and I work off of that and look to hit the um, circle on either the hitch or the streak, the um, X on down the seam, or if I have space, if there's any type of hesitation between the buzz defender or if there's a soft flat, hit the bubble. You can see how that opens up. I'm looking to see who's buzzing for the flat. They haven't really declared yet. I could have hit him for a quick hitter, and most of the time I will if I think I can, you know, get it in there, if I see any retreating. But when he comes off of the curl, or when he comes off of the outside receiver, he just sits down there, and I have a throwing lane for him. I might have one-on-one -on -one to the left here. You can try that. Try to, you know, hit that quote unquote back shoulder. This time I do. And he's going to convert that to the um, corner. And if I have a guy like Antonio Brown, I will throw that up for grabs. No flat defender. Just hit him. Also go down the seam. This actually works better than a bubble screen. Because with the bubble, it's like the um, defenders know that the receivers are not are not um, running routes. We can get up field and get some nice yak. Guy misses a tackle, you can um, you know get a nice play off of it. Yeah, 
covers, he runs them off and does a hitch. Sits down in the seam. There's a lot going on. And it can be tough to read because of it. And he just converts his route to a hitch right in this hole. And so does Abe, and so does the receiver here. And there's a hole throwing lane right there as well. That's a tight fit. So, you know, those are choice reads. In the real world, June would call these 20, 30 times a game and not give a single damn about the opponent's feelings. In the video game world, you can't do that. Man can't leave, can't, man cannot live off of these, you know, handful of concepts alone. So, in the next installment of this series, I will go over the um, switch series. Switch curl flat, switch curl, switch smash, switch dig. RNS post or drag and other goodies levels, curl flat wheel, another choice route play. So that's it for now. Ooh, good play. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to y'all laters. Peace. Ah!